Hi, this is Dory, and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to discover the most beautiful locations, and our goal is to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So thanks for following, and welcome to our channel. Last night, we drove to Clearwater. We stayed here only because we went sailing, so that's kind of cool. I didn't vlog much about the sailing, mostly because we were crew on a boat, first time being crew, and me and Mena, we don't have a lot of experience sailing, and the captain was kind enough to have us three on board, including Fee. We're going on a fortnight today, so that means we have three nights left before we check in at the campground. The next campground, it's Orlando. Feeling in my bones, there's nothing that can break them. They can break them. Hey. Yeah, I'm unstoppable. Forever been awakened. I'm awakened. Follow me to hear my echo. Run away to your heart can let go. Good morning guys from Clearwater, day number three. So we slept here already for two nights. We kind of found a nice spot. It is on iOverlander, there's only one review. We show up at that spot really late at night when it's dark and we actually leave before sun is up. Here I go, here I go, I'm on my way. Running like the wind, my great escape. Hey guys, so we are still in clear water. Tonight is going to be night number four. So we're at this amazing marina. We've been spending pretty much every single day here. It's really pretty. It's really quiet. Parking is free. They have washrooms right in back of me, right there. And it closes at 10 o'clock. Uh, so we pretty much spent all day here and we've been enjoying it. One of the main reasons why we are here is because we came for sailing. Uh, we met someone and we've been spending some nice time with him. He's been showing us the ropes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we we're lucky enough that we had an amazing day of sailing with him. It was our second time that we sailed in our lives. Uh, something that we've been considering for quite some time. And uh, by the end of the month, we will be taking our ASA 101 uh, but more on that later we had this amazing opportunity to go on a sale and we did we helped out someone as well and in exchange we were crew on his boat and we went on a couple hours and learned quite a bit and you know vibes are good we're good friends I think <laughs> because we are returning today so today he invited us to go for a sunset sail He's alone. He also needs the help on the boat as much as we can help him because we're very green to this. So we're learning as we go, but it has been fun. I'm glad that I were able to help him, but we're also learning a lot. And also it gives us more boat time, more opportunity to be on a boat to learn more about this niche. So yeah, clear water's just been amazing. We've been having a great time. Oh, 
Hey, good morning guys. So today is the last day here in Clearwater. We're gonna head to Orlando. So Clearwater, even though if it's a nice touristy marina, boat life attraction, extremely hard to find spots to sleep. It is manageable. So now let's get to Orlando. So see you in a bit. Hey guys, we just got to Lake Fairview Marina and we're here to pick up our books so that we could study for the next two weeks for our sailing lessons. We're really, really excited, and this is a great follow-up to the sailing that we did this past weekend with Isaac. So let's go get our books. And we're inside the ship store getting our books. Yay! Uh, we have the books now. We're going to be able to study for the next two weeks. And I want to show you around this store because it's really great. It has lots of parts, and we're actually picking up a fire extinguisher because the one in our van has gone bad, and they have them here, so that's perfect. Even Fee likes it here. She's getting lots of love and attention. Here we go. Hello, Lake Fairview Marina. Hello, Lake Fairview. This is exciting. Now I just gotta figure out where to park. <laughs> So we're parked over here with the other cars and uh, we had to sign two waivers. So there's a liability waiver you have to sign. I filled it out for you. Just sign this. You just have to sign it. So you go in and then head to your left. I think that's our ride for today. Cute little guy. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm gonna be the uh, ASA instructor for uh, Mita. Mina and Dory? Yeah. Did I say that right? Dory and Mena, exactly. Dory and Mena. <laughs> we got some great wind today. We're going to have a lot of fun. Oh, awesome. Yeah. We're so looking forward to it. Excellent. Let's go. Yeah. So, what do you think the first thing that we need to do when we're rigging our boat? When we're rigging a sailboat, when you raise your sails in clear water, yeah. what did you do first? Head to the wind? Yes. So, we're going to look and see where our wind is and we're gonna figure out which direction we want our boat to be facing so that the bow is in the wind. So, with the airplane, 
the wing is shaped like that, and you have the low pressure and high pressure, which causes the wing to lift. The sail is the same thing, only it's sideways, and it's going through the water. You're actually getting lifted through the water. Um, and then the keel below the boat will actually lift the boat through the water as well. That's so cool. We never it's, thought of it that yeah. way. And? People think that we just get pushed around as sailors. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we're flying. We're flying. All right. So we are now kind of in the wind. It's mostly there. So uh, we're going to hoist our main. All right. Go ahead and start hoisting. Right, and you're okay. using it as, as kind of as a way. So perfect, yeah. And once you got it secured, then we're gonna come around okay. and finish off with our plate that you wanna do that. Okay. Stop laughing at me. So it's going to come across. Got them. So it came over. And now we're going to ease this sail back out. Okay. Yeah. On the bigger boats, think about it you turn this big wheel, it's got a chain or some kind of pulley system that's moving a sprocket that's adjusting the rudder. There's plenty of wind. We're going, we're going down one, so go ahead and do another tack. All right, now straighten up. Yeah. It's finding that groove. It's constantly making slight adjustments. So that was our first day, and man, was it hot. But Dan is an uber professional, and... Um, couldn't tell the guy was uncomfortable when it was really hot <laughs> and he was just great super patient and we learned a lot it was great to be able to actually put into practice everything that we learned in the book so tomorrow we're gonna hit it again it's gonna be another hot day but we're gonna round out this course with a successful completion of the exam and all of the practical so we're looking forward to yeah we're looking forward to tomorrow we will see you then. Good morning. We're on our way to day two of Sailing ASA 101, Sailing Made Easy, with Dan at Sailing Orlando at the Lake Fairview Marina in Orlando. And uh, we're so happy that it's overcast. It's very foggy and cloudy right now. So we're hoping it's gonna be a little bit more cloudy today because yesterday was brutal. It was like, sun beating down it was 32 degrees it was really really hot but we're pumped we're anxious to get the exam done and do some docking I think that's what we're doing today we're gonna practice docking yesterday we were practicing tacking and jiving and doing figure eights in the water and kind of seeing where the wind was there wasn't much wind yesterday so hopefully also there will be more today Good morning guys, day number two. So today we do the exam and by the time we're done here, we should be certified ASA 101. Let's hope so. Happy to be back. Anxious to get this thing done in a, in a way. I am enjoying the process. You know, every time I get a quiz or something like that, I get freaked out, but it's gonna be fine. I'm not too worried. Today looks like a nice day, overcast. Hopefully we have more wind than we had yesterday. We did have some wind not a lot but it did give us you know an idea of things like you know we actually there were some moments you're able to see wind coming towards you you know when it's dead and you just see it coming you could see it through the water you could see it i mean because the water changes color so it's really cool so it gave us that opp opportunity to look for those little Ints. Today is going to be nice because yesterday A was a killer. The sun was so hot, uh, it was beating down on us like crazy. And then we got to pull the excess through. Pull the excess through there. 
There you go. Got it? Got all the way up? Looks like it's to me. So now, your feet hitch. That's your first shoulder, shoulder, arm. Wow. And we don't have the title influences. That's the big thing. Okay. Right? Because, like, put out a long enough scope. And that concludes our course. We're officially certified sailing ASA 101. Thanks, Dan. You're awesome. Anyway, two days. There's a lot of studying. I might be it's done. Man, I got 100%. Not surprised. I got 96. Yeah, well, we know who's going to be the captain on this one. Our goal is just to keep getting those skills sharp so it becomes like second nature to us we enjoyed it it was fun if you guys are thinking about doing the sailing classes honestly come over here if you're near orlando it's the perfect spot we really really enjoyed the privacy it was just us there was nobody the lake that we used was super private it wasn't very busy and also it was light winds so it's great for learning Maybe it's done and it's a gift to us from Florida on our way out to Texas. You are looking at two happy campers, or should I say two happy sailors. <laughs> we graduated! Yes! Amazing teacher. Don was just super patient. And if you have a chance to get private lessons, definitely do it. The one-on-one -on -one attention that he gives you, it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's so, so worth the extra cost. So we're happy. We're going to be getting our ASA stickers in the mail in a couple of weeks. And we have our log books that we're already starting to fill out. We have done, let's see, eight hours with Isaac. And we did three hours with uh, Sailing Ohana in Montreal. So, you know, we're building up our hours slowly. And it's just going to get easier and easier. So it was, yeah, it was a bit challenging on the water. You got to figure out where the wind is. And that's... You know part of the fun of sailing is that you you get to learn so much new stuff it's also the challenging part but sometimes these challenging things that you encounter in your lives it, it just makes it so much more satisfying when you accomplish it so we're gonna leave you here we hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and like subscribe and we'll see you in the next video